Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Okay. This this is a hamster belonging to my wife. Now she says that the hamster is not eating, mm -hmm. and there's a big swelling below the chin. What about it's drinking, urinating, and stools? Uh, drinking is drinking less. Urination is okay. Stools are quite solid and uh, and being passed out. It's just that we are worried the hamster is not active anymore. Has it been scratching a lot as well? Yes, uh, it's been scratching the swelling on the chin for the last two weeks. Okay. And so we are worried that uh, it could be a tumour. So I bring the hamster out first. Let's take a look at the hamster. Okay. Take the hamster out. 48. Healthy. Okay, so 43 is it? 44. 44. Okay. Okay, so let me examine your hamster now. Yeah. It's quite nervous. Yeah, okay. Mm. Okay. Hold on. So as you can see it's abscess over. The chin here. is very swollen. Yeah. It happens about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, is it? Yeah, from two weeks ago it started. Okay. It does feel hard, the swelling. Mm -hmm. So I think it can be an abscess tumor or infected tumor. Can you see feel a tumor at all? But because you can see that there are two white, yellow, white yellowish spots here. Where? Over here. Exactly where? Is it the pen? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, over here. Can you see two yellowish spots? There's a bruise here, yeah. Yeah. So these are past in an abscess. So. And your hamster is only 15 months old, which is pretty young, so yes. I don't think it's a tumor. Okay. And because it's an abscess, right? An abscess is an inflammation of the tissue cells, yes. causing a swelling in the skin. So what we suggest to do is that it's not ripened yet. We leave it for hospitalization over here for two days for the abscess to be ripened. And then we'll put the hamster under anesthesia so that it will not feel any pain. Okay. Then right after that, we'll do an incision on the abscess and drain out all the pus so that the bacteria will be gone from the swelling as well. Bacteria, where does the bacteria come from? The bacteria come from the infection on the tissue cells. So there's a bacterial infection that enters the tissue cells. This will cause the abscess to, uh, to form as well. Is it due to bacteria? Yeah, it's due to bacteria. Mm. What causes this uh, kind of abscess? Um, the bacteria something can... Sharp, something sharp. From the seeds or...? Yeah, the seeds or maybe the cage. There's something sharp that scrapes past the chin area, this causes like a wound to appear and bacteria comes in and invade the tissue cells causing the invasion and the swelling. Okay, so would it be safe for anesthesia? Well, um, all hamsters have an anesthetic risk but we will not put such a high amount of anesthesia but just an adequate amount so that your hamster will not feel any pain during the surgery. Okay, so i just leave it here. Yep, just leave it here for two days. We'll do the surgery the next on two days later. Mm -hmm. And after that you can bring your hamster home. But after you bring your hamster home, what is important is the post-operative nursing care. Okay, yeah. So when you bring your hamster home, we'll prescribe you with antibiotics and cohexidine. So just remember to feed your hamster with your antibiotics and after that when every two times a day, please use the cohexidine and clean up the wound. Okay, yep. So I leave the hamster here then. Yep, just okay, leave the hamster here. Thank you. Thank you.